Now inside SharePoint, uh, you might have lots of sites available to you. There might be some communication portals where you've got policies. There might be some subject sites like this that you're working on a regular basis. And there might even be class teams. So you, there might end up being a lot of SharePoint sites that you can access. So if you're working in a particular area on a regular basis, it's really useful if you were to follow that site because it will pop up in all the apps and um, it will make it easy to find and copy files into. And I'll show you why that's beneficial in a minute. So to follow a site, you go to the site, in this case, the English site, and where it says not following, you click there and it will say following. So one of the reasons for that is if you're in any of the Office apps and you're working in Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and you want to either open or save a document, you'll see that you get your OneDrive where your personal files are stored, but you'll also see um, under sites, frequently accessed sites, um, and also any sites that you're following. So if I want to save straight into one of these sites like engineering, I can go into engineering, Cloudbox Foundation, business solutions, and I can open or save documents straight into that SharePoint location. Um, if you're using the apps on an iPhone or uh, an Android device or a tablet, then you'll be able to use those following sites again to quickly open and edit documents or navigate to a SharePoint site. It also becomes really beneficial if you're using OneDrive and you want to copy a file from your OneDrive into SharePoint or from SharePoint into another SharePoint site. So I'm going to open up OneDrive. You might have created some documents in your own personal area in OneDrive, and maybe you're ready for this document now to be shared with um, your department. So I might take this one as an example, this is my coursework document. And I can select that document and press copy to, and you'll see that I've got my OneDrive as a location, so I could store it somewhere else in my OneDrive, and also frequently accessed and followed sites. So you can see the English site that I'm following is right there at the top. So I can go straight into English and I can save it straight into one of the libraries. So I could put it into the year 12 library, copy here. And you'll see it copies that item uh, from my OneDrive into SharePoint. So that's gone into my year 12 library. If I go into year 12, there it is my coursework. And I could even copy it from here into another SharePoint library using exactly the same method. So I could use copy to or I could use move to. In this case, I'll use move to. And again, I can go into English exactly the same as doing it from my OneDrive. This time, put it in the year seven library, press move here. And you'll see it's moved the item, it's disappeared from here. And if I go into year seven, I've now got my coursework in here as well. So really easy to copy uh, documents from one location to another. You can do it from OneDrive in SharePoint, 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 but it makes it much easier if you were to follow that site.